Hello, and welcome to True Audio Files and another edition of Vinyl Hall. This time we're going to go over some records that I got at my local record store. The place is called Records of Good Kind, and I go there as often as I can, but not as much as I want to. <laughs> uh, my pocketbook just can't afford it. So, um, anyways, uh, great place, uh, always have great stuff, reasonable prices, and uh, just the owner is just awesome, too. So, anyways, uh, without further ado, I'm going to start off with the first one that I got, which was uh, probably the biggest shock of the ones that I got there. And that is the Patsy Klein uh, three record set that was for Record Store Day. And now he does do Record Store Day, but he didn't get it in for Record Store Day. A guy actually brought it in to resell to him because um, he didn't want it. So basically pristine condition. I'm not even sure if it's ever been played. And I got it for cheaper than I think what it was going for during Record Store Day. So pretty awesome find there. And the uh, place I normally go for record store day didn't got one copy in and they got it this it was sold immediately and uh, never got another one in so next up is heart and this one's called desire walks on uh, this one is was released in 1993 by heart um, never released on vinyl in the US so this is a UK pressing and which makes it obviously more valuable and i don't even think there were a whole lot of copies that were pressed in the uk either so uh it's pretty cool to find this he's had it in the store for a while but i got him to sell it to me a little bit of a deal so uh i could justify paying the uh exorbitant price that it's worth on it so looking forward to it i've heard a couple of the tracks on it already and i really do like them so next up more ACDC. If you know, if you've seen what some of my other videos as of late, you know that I've been getting a lot of ACDC lately. And um, can't say that it's, there's a specific reason for that. It's just they've been showing up. So, But this one is If You Want Blood, a uh, live album. But this is actually a UK pressing. So looking forward to that. I, I have a US pressing of it, but I uh, want to try the UK pressing to see how it sounds. So pretty excited about this. All right. So... <clears throat> Next up, kind of a fun one for me is, uh, actually my son loves Jackson 5 and Michael Jackson. This is Jackson 5's Greatest Hits. Uh, early pressing, looks like it's in really great shape. Not a first pressing, but I think it's early 70s anyways. Uh, but uh, just love it. Nice one to just kind of throw on the, the turntable while we're eating dinner, um, since my son really likes it. So uh, I think I'm going to have that upstairs to listen to. All right, so the next, I'm going to go over, uh, the, the there's three here that I got, all from the same artist, which this one kind of surprised me. I, long story short, I was going through my record collection and uh, noticed I didn't have as much Cheap Trick as I thought I did. And Cheap Trick's one of my favorite artists, but uh, for some reason, I just didn't have a lot of their stuff on vinyl. I had some of the essential stuff, and I had like a box set that had their first, I think, five records reissued but i didn't have original pressings or early pressings so uh decided to make sure i try to fix that so uh i got cheap trick all shook up i got uh heaven tonight and next position please so what uh really uh cheap tricks pretty sentimental to me because they're my first rock concert i ever went to so uh they kind of hold a special place in my heart so that's why I want to make sure I get a bunch of the cheap trick stuff on uh, on vinyl. So next up is a compilation <clears throat> of Charles mm -hmm. Mingus. Um, and this actually is also with Eric Dolphy, at least on the first record. It's a two record set. It's actually two records. Um, and it's basically I think it's two different records that were previously released put into one package. So um Looking forward to listening to this because I love both Charles Mingus and Eric Dolphy. So it's a kind of a cool find for not too expensive. Another one's kind of more of a fun one. Um, if you were a fan of rap in the 80s, uh, the Fat Boys. This one is big and beautiful. I think this is one of their uh, one of their last albums. I, I don't know the history of the uh, Fat Boys too much. I know I've got two or three of their other records, but this is a later one that I don't think I've ever heard. And it's only five bucks, so I figured, eh, I'll give it a try, see what it sounds like. All right. 
Next up, this one's kind of cool. It was a little pricey, but uh, I thought it was kind of worth it for me. I'm going to take it out of the plastic here because it'll make it easier to see. And that's an Iron Maiden picture disc. Now, generally speaking, I don't like picture discs and I generally don't buy them. Iron Maiden is a little bit of an exception just because I love the artwork. But in this specific case, it is because it's got a song called Cross-Eyed Mary on it, which was basically a side B and it was only this is the peace of mind album as you could see but they added cross-eyed Mary uh, onto this uh whoo as you could see right here but um <clears throat> that was a side B of one of the singles I don't remember which one but it's a a cover song of a Jethro Tull song and I really really love that version of the song so I I had a hard time resisting you got a double double whammy with a picture disc of Iron Maiden um and that song so it's pretty excited to see that <clears throat> this one is uh one that i already had a regular version of it but this is a japanese pressing and it's rush grace under pressure not one of my favorite albums by them but still a great album uh sad to hear about neil peart dying uh, a couple days ago um finally su unfortunately succumbed to um brain cancer but uh very excited about this. Like I said, not one of my favorite albums of theirs, but it's a Japanese pressing. I always like trying to get Japanese pressings when I can and uh, look forward to hearing this one. So, last one. A little bit of old school soul. This is Otis Redding. Complete and unbelievable, the Otis Redding Dictionary of Soul. Uh, I think I have a reissue of this that came out as like a Barnes & Noble exclusive or something, but this is an original. Um, and it was in really really good condition so i was very excited to be able to to score this one and uh really looking forward to hearing this i love the old school soul you know the otis redding sam cook that kind of stuff so very cool to be able to grab that all right and that is everything that i scored while i was uh, at my local records shop as you can see a lot of cool stuff very excited to dig in and listen i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe uh, and like it and if you want to know when I release new videos, please hit that alert bell, I'll let you know. And I appreciate your time and you have a great day.